What's up, Greg? It's me, Danny, back with another episode of Welcome to the Trash House. The show where my house is completely covered in trash because I'm moving, but you, uh, just don't mention it, please. I always get comments about how I need more stuff in the background anyway, so there you go. There's a picture and some gar and garbage. How's that for decorations? Are you happy now? So before we get started on the main part of this video, the, the main meat of this video, there's two things that I want to say. First off, this video is sponsored by Audible. If you want a 30-day free trial, go to audible.com slash gregforlife or text gregforlife to 500-500. If you do that, you'll get a free audiobook and a free 30-day free trial. The second thing is a little update to my last video. So I know most of you by now have probably seen my last video where I talked about the Sharer family. You know how most of their videos are about that pond monster? Well, they also have another, like, subplot that's been going on in their videos. Basically, Steven Sharer one day discovered an abandoned safe in their house. They have a lot of videos about this abandoned safe, and they're all such clickbait. Freezing abandoned safe, liquid nitrogen, breaking into abandoned safe, smashing abandoned safe, crushing safe with monster truck. Do you want to know how many videos they have about this abandoned safe? I just searched sharer safe and I counted 15. And how many videos do you think there are of them actually breaking open the safe? There's none. There's they, they never break open the safe. Anyways, we uploaded another video called Breaking Open Abandoned Safe Drop Test. And the thumbnail is, look, they're up high on the scaffolding with the safe and they're gonna drop it. So I watched it and this has gotta be the worst video ever. So I guess their house is like under construction or something. They're having some work done to the outside. So there's all this scaffolding on the outside of their house and they figure, oh, we have this abandoned safe that we're trying to open. Let's bring it up high on one of the scaffolding things and then let's drop it off. That'll probably open the safe, right? So as you would imagine, the first eight minutes of this video are just nothing. Grace, what are you doing? Oh, no, Grace, you're not supposed to be up there. But then they finally get up on the scaffolding and they get the safe up there. And right away, they just start over-exaggerating how high up they are. Gosh, oh my ah! goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're probably seven or eight feet off the ground. You can tell because like the dude who's holding the camera is holding it at, at eye level and they're like two feet higher than that. But they're just, they're acting like they're terrified that if they fall, they're gonna die. And the acting is just so bad per use. And do you wanna know how the video ends? Well, with dropping the safe, of course, right? And it cracks open and they finally figure out what's in it, right? No. No, they get too scared of how high up they are and they come back down. And that's the end of the video. Steve. <laughs> Whoa! That was a lot harder than we thought. Oh. It's a classic sharer family strategy. They get you hooked with a great clickbait thumbnail and title, and then they wait till the very end of a long video to do the thing that was in the thumbnail and title, and then at the end of the video, they still don't do it. Anyway, I just thought that was an interesting update to the Sharer family saga. It was something that I wanted to include in a video, but I don't think it deserved an entire video about. So now let's get into the main meat of this video. So I've always thought that I couldn't really make a video Googling myself. Because when other YouTubers Google themselves, the things that come up are net worth, height, where they were born, and where they grew up, and where they went to high school, and all that stuff. And I've never really revealed all that stuff on the internet, so I'm like, well, obviously there's no articles about it then. But it turns out that there are and the way that there are is they just make all those things up and then they post it in an article. So I had an experience with a, a website like these a while ago. It's called Famous Birthdays. A lot of people are aware of this website because it's sort of like a Wikipedia page for like internet personalities of which I am one. I went on it one time and it said my birthday was like June 13th, 1994, which is one day off of my actual birthday, June 12th. And I was so confused because I was like, how did they get it so close? without getting it right on. Like that was, a, it was a very good guess. But now I found this article on famedstar.com, which goes much more in depth on the details of my life. I mean, just scrolling down this, it's like a fucking spreadsheet on my life. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. It's got a little description of me at the very beginning. Danny Gonzalez is an American famed star who is best known as former Vine star. He had amassed more than 2.8 million followers on this app, but unfortunately Vine shut down its service. Actually, Vine shut down his service in 2016. I didn't know Vine was a boy, but hmm, I always thought it was a girl. All right, now we're gonna get into the good stuff. Personal information. If you were gonna try to steal my identity, this is probably where you would look. Name, Danny Gonzalez. Nickname, Danny. My nickname is just my first name without my last name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny Gonzalez, but you can just call me Danny for short because you know how most people just call each other by their first names? Yeah, that's, you can just call me that, that's fine. Occupation slash profession, YouTube star and singer. 
Hmm. I didn't know I was a singer. <laughs> Gender. Male. Yeah, that's true. Age 24 years old. Now, this one is actually pretty impressive that they got right because most people think that I'm 13 years old, uh, but I'm actually 11 years older than that. Okay, I like I like this part. Education information. Qualification? Is he qualified to be making YouTube videos? Well, he did graduate with a degree in computer science, so... So no. Where he did his schooling? Not known. But where did he graduate? Oh, from Georgia Tech. <laughs> They're like, we don't know where he went to school. All we know is that he graduated from Georgia Tech. There's some weird contradictions in here. This next part, marital status, unmarried. Wife name, Laura. <laughs> he doesn't have a wife, but his wife's name is Laura. Then there's a section with my achievements. It's got all of my social media followings, but I really like this part where it has songs because it has Spooky Boy Beef With Me, Dab On The Haters, Greg, and then it also has Dentro De Me, which if you haven't been to my Spotify page, uh, this was recently fixed, but there was this other artist named Danny Gonzalez who sings songs in Spanish who was posting songs to my Spotify page somehow. So there would be all of my songs, which are like comedy rap songs in English, and then there were just like two songs by this guy who sang like I, like mariachi Spanish songs. It, it confused a lot of people. Now this next article is my favorite. It's on a site called Heightline.com. It's called Danny Gonzalez Biography, Age, Wife, Family Life, and Other Facts. I really like the two pictures they used for me here. You sort of get a sense of my range of characters that I do. You know, you've got this one character who looks like concerned and pensive, and this other character who looks like upset and thoughtful. I'm trying to think of how best to describe the person that wrote this article. I think that they're six and a very big fan of me. You can tell from the very beginning. As a child, Danny knew he was meant to be an internet star. That's true. I, I knew that I wanted to be a YouTube star since I was, gosh, since I was six, which is crazy because that was five years before YouTube was invented. The internet personality finally got an opportunity to show the world his creative talent on Vine in 2013 when his first video captioned, target headphones like what's up hit the internet launching him into immense popularity yeah the very first vine i posted where i was trying on headphones in target and just testing out how the app worked launched me into immense popularity you'll get to know more about him in this piece don't worry we're not it's not done yet you'll get to know more about him we know all we've told you so far is that he's wanted to be a youtuber since before youtube was invented and that his very first vine video launched him to viral success uh but you'll get to know more about him in this piece don't worry this article is broken up into several sections the first section is called danny gonzalez's biography age here's where we're gonna learn my life story you know i don't really like to get too personal on my social media accounts. I don't really talk about my private life that much or, you know, my background and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see what this article knows about my personal life. Danny Gonzalez was born in Illinois, Georgia in the United States on June 12th, 1994. So, okay, so nothing. They don't know anything. <laughs> Man, I remember those days sitting on my porch in Illinois, Georgia, just wondering, where the fuck am I? The star may be loud about his career, but when it comes to issues about his private life, he usually keeps them under wraps. I may be loud about my career? What is that? What is that supposed to mean? Like I'm always tweeting shit like, I'm fa I'm a famous YouTuber! I'm a famous YouTuber, I have a lot of subs. Now we're gonna get into the sweet stuff. Family life. Wife. Danny is married to a pretty young woman simply identified as Laura. She's just simply identified as Laura. She doesn't have a last name or a middle name. Her government issued identification is Laura. She is very supportive of her husband's career as she sometimes appears in his videos. Wouldn't it be funny if it was like she is not very supportive of his career. You can tell when she's in his video. She's like, fuck this. Fuck him and fuck YouTube. You can get to see her on Danny's viral video, Girlfriend Does My Makeup. Oh, and there's a little picture of us there. There's no available information about the year and location the couple tied the knot. More so, the Viner has yet to reveal if they have given birth to a child or not. <laughs> I like the insinuation that if we had a kid, we would make a video saying that we had a kid. But if we didn't have a kid, we would also make a video letting you guys know. Uh, hey guys, um, we have some exciting news. You know, there's been some rumors and speculation going around the internet lately and we just want to say that the rumors are true uh we don't have any kids so thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time from what we gathered however danny and laura are the best of friends they are in love with each other so much and can be said to be each other's perfect match i like how it's like we really don't know anything about their relationship we don't know when they got married if they have kids or not 
but we do know that they are madly in love with each other, and they are each other's perfect match. Other facts about the Vine star. He is a musician. Gonzalez is not only popular face on the internet, his name sure rings a bell within the music community. Yeah, if you ask anyone in the music community, my name sure rings a bell. Though his music career is still growing, he has released some songs and is planning to drop more in the near future. Some of Danny's viral hits include Beef With Me, and Dentro de Me. God damn it. The channel boasts more than 600,000 subscribers. No, it doesn't. Okay, guys, this one, this next one is my net worth section. Now, I don't usually like to flex on you guys. You know, I, I have a very humble apartment with no decorations. In fact, it's full of trash. But I do, I, I do have to admit that this section in particular, they, they hit the nail on the head. I'm actually pretty impressed with how well they were able to... Uh, narrow this down. While some sites reported that his fortune is valued at five million dollars, others claim that his fortune sits between five to six hundred dollars. While this will make it a little bit difficult for us to tell you how much he has amassed from his online career, we are positive that Danny boasts a sizable net worth. Again, I didn't want to flex on you, but my net worth is somewhere between five hundred dollars and five million dollars. So sorry to flex on you guys again, but you know, it's already in the article, so you could have read it there yourself. This next section is called Body Statistics. It starts off with this small little paragraph that I think sums myself up perfectly. It is generally believed that one of the reasons that the YouTuber has so many female fans on his side is because of his good looks. Of a truth, Danny Gonzalez is amazing and hunky. He is blessed with distinctive features that make it impossible for any lady not to love him. <laughs> Um, I am blessed with distinctive features that make it impossible for any lady not to love me. It's my nose, isn't it? That's the distinctive feature. I knew it. And then it goes into a little bit more detail about my appearance. It starts off with simple stuff. The hunky internet star stands at a height of 5 feet 11 and weighs 70 kilograms. That's actually pretty impressive. I'm 5'10 and 70 kilograms is like 154 pounds. And that's about how much I weigh. So those are both pretty accurate. But then it goes into even more detail. I would say a frightening amount of detail. Detail. His body measurements are chest 40 inches, waist 31 inches, arms 14 inches, and his shoe size is 10. Like, why the fuck would you ever need to know that? <laughs> is this site for people who are trying to build like a life-size replica of me? Is that even- I don't even know if that's true. I don't know my chest measurements. Chest 40 inches? 35. 35 inches. Guess I'm not quite as thick as they thought. Waist 31 inches? At the very least, I should give you guys accurate measurements so you don't get led astray by this fucking article. My waist is 32 inches. My arms are 14 inches. 21 inches. My, I thought my arms were 14 inches? That's like this, that's like this long. That's the length of my forearm. That'd be like if my arms were this long. <laughs> he flaunts a set of beautiful blue eyes and brown hair. Then the article talks about my birth sign being Gemini. It has a whole section about about my ethnicity where it says uh, we don't know his ethnicity and then it ends the article with a nice little happy ending where it says he currently lives in Atlanta Georgia with his beautiful wife which isn't true uh oh you know what that means it's time for a word from our sponsor audible Ugh, what am I gonna do with all this stuff guys I know I mentioned this already but I'm moving soon in just a couple of days me my wife and my dog are gonna be driving from California to Illinois we've got all our stuff in boxes we've got board games card games and board games packed up in boxes guys if you've ever spent 30 hours in a car before you know that spending 30 hours in a car sucks just take it from peanut but one thing that that can make car rides a lot more bearable is listening to a good audiobook. Audible is the best place to listen to audiobooks. It's an app you can get on your phone. They have thousands, maybe even more than that. I have no reference for how many audiobooks they have, but the amount that they have is insane. You can listen to them right on your phone. It's so crazy, even my dog's getting excited about it. I'm honestly a little bit too excited. That's enough out of you, Peanut. <laughs> Gosh, one thing I've always wanted to do is read the Harry Potter books. I've only ever seen the movies because I'm a piece of millennial trash and I, I don't like reading. But since I've got 30 hours in a car where I'm not doing jack shit, I'll probably just listen to it on an audiobook. Plus, Laura won't let me read books while I drive because she's a jerk. Okay. Do you want to know the best part? Come with me. You can go to audible.com slash greg for life and get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook. That's right. I'm talking Gatsby. I'm talking Harry Potter. I'm talking Catcher in the goddamn Rye up in this bitch. Head on over to audible.com slash greg for life or text greg for life to 500-500 and start your free trial today. 
and claim your free audiobook. Now, I better get back to packing. Where does this go again? In my mouth? Oh my god. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to join Greg. We're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Don't look that up. Thanks. Thank you probably Haley for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I get all my belongings, pack them up into bags and boxes, I shove it in my mouth, I get all big and fat with a big jiggly belly, and then I walk from here to Illinois where I'm going to start my new life with an apartment full of partially digested belongings. Bye!